On today's episode of Hoarders, we find me playing with this motor, checking for a little bit of compression. Uh, the cylinder that has the uh, antifreeze in it uh, was a bad intake gasket, I know that, but I believe she was pushing antifreeze uh, through and through. Um, I have almost no compression on that cylinder. I'm hoping. Oh, my bad. You know, again, Ace cameraman for hire. But uh, I don't know what I do with my little light. I had a little light that would work. I can show you is inside of there, inside of that great, great, great uh, running motor that I bought that I could drop right in, by the way. So you know, three, three sixty. You know, I only gave the guy about 360. He delivered it, which was cool, but it's supposed to be a runner, you know what I mean? Uh, that's what pisses me off, you know what I mean? You could have told me it was bad and, uh, you know, been honest. I mean, you, the, the fucking thing must have smoked like a pig, not to mention, you know, that's what I got suck up in the, in the oil pickup, so I don't know how bad it is in there. But when I hand crank it, uh, you know, check the uh, compression, uh, I uh, don't hear anything in that cylinder with the antifreeze in it. And I'm looking for that damn flashlight so I can show you guys how how insane it looks in there. Um, you know, it's just, it's just, this is like, this is unbelievable. I say it's unbelievable only because it's just like, you know... The world's coming to an end. Texas is frozen solid. Uh, everybody's dying from a fucking plague. Uh, you know, all kinds of stupid shit. And uh, you got people fucking just outright lying and, say, and selling shit out to rob you. Literally out to fucking rob you. I mean, you know, not even, no, no truth, just fucking, yeah, it runs great, dude. Just slap it in there. You know, good thing I, I know uh, a little bit, obviously, you can see the shop uh, lets you know that that I do know a little bit of something anyway. I uh, don't know where the fucking flashlight is though. I know that. I know that for sure. You get me a cigarette here. And uh, then I, I'd really like to show you guys the inside of that cylinder on the motor that runs, you know. Um, I'm going to get a, a, a picture of the guy, his ad and his whole shit. Hopefully I have it still on my phone. I can get to it. And I'm going to blast the shit out of it online. Um, you know, I, just, dude, just fucking tell the truth. Why can't, why is it so hard for people to tell the truth, you know? How many times I got shit tied up and people that just don't tell the truth about simple things that don't even fucking matter. But because, you know, the story you hear is how you base your fucking actions, you get fucked in the ass in the end. So now this motor, which I thought was only going to cost me, you know, six, eight hundred tops, you know, it's going to cost me more than that altogether. You know, between buying the motor and uh, doing the work, getting the work done. I don't know if I'm going to send it out, the head and the button and the block. I don't know. i got to check it. But, I mean, you know, it's a fucking nightmare. But, anyway, there's another happy, upbeat video uh, from the facility here. I don't know what we should call this place. Let's start calling it Area 21. You know, like Agenda 21 guys don't know what agenda 21 is look it up but agenda 21 is pretty funny so call this place area 21 it's sort of like area 51 except there's no aliens in here i mean everybody's a goddamn alien nowadays but you know I, we got tons of projects in the makes i just have no room guys i apologize i, I wanted to start out I wanted, to, oh, look, I wanted to start out making the making the movies for you, uh, you know, good, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I apologize. I, I gotta gotta watch the language also, you know, since it's a whole other thing, I guess, right? But uh, I don't know where I did with the flashlight. I want to show you guys, and I don't know. Uh, yeah, when I push the thing here, it won't let me. Uh, won't give me a menu to turn the the light on for the phone and I have this cool flashlight it's in one of the other videos um, I used it and I showed you show you guys 
We looked, aha, inside the cylinders I found it. Check this thing out. This thing's awesome. It's like one of those cameras, but it's not. It's a light. I do have one of those cameras that uh, I'll have to check out, you know what I mean, for you guys and use. But this is the light. It's pretty cool. And that's the cylinder. That's the cylinder. Uh, I don't want to turn the camera. Hold on. Let me see if I can hold it a little bit better. Um, without getting my fingers in front of the lens. So you can see, um, you know, not for nothing, but somebody deserves that they have their ass beat. I don't care who the fuck it is. I've never fucked somebody like this. That's yeah, a runner. It's a runner. So, I mean, the rest of them are fairly good, but you could tell. She was dogged. She was dogged, and that's why you pulled it. You sold it as a runner. Said it has a cam in it. Now, you know, I can't even go by that now. I don't know what's truth anymore with this fucking thing. So now I got a mystery motor. It's the mystery motor. Oh, wait, you know what else you got to see? The, the build-up. The build-up. You know, I thought the head might have been, re, re, like, redone, but maybe they just cleaned, maybe he cleaned it up and put a cam in it and then ran it. Uh, I don't know, but you could see... The buildup on the inside of the cylinder, you know, the exhaust walls. Like, to, like, what was he running in here? Coal? I mean, was he running coal in there? I can't really see. You can't you see. That's a big chunk right there. That's not a casting mark. That's that's a big chunk of the bridge. You see that? And this one too. Where? Oh wait, wait, wait. Where are we? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember, I'm for hire. Look at this shit. And that's the bad. That's the one that was burning most of it. But this whole thing is whacked out. I mean, let's be honest. So, and of course, being that he was he was running it dogged, he probably beat the snot out of it. You know, knowing it, you know, it was gonna blow or it was blown, and just didn't give a shit. Uh, so I got a mystery motor from the guy. I don't even know his name. I have to look it up. Got him on camera when he delivered it, though. So if you want to check out some videos, uh, his plate numbers on there. Uh, some other information, but uh, I like this this bike here used to be a customer's and uh, He brought it in for repairs. I fixed for another one. He brought in for repairs. I fixed that one um, It was bad and then uh, he ended up getting a new one which was this one Okay, and I ended up with his old one now. I have another customer that uh, knew I was uh, building and selling bikes he messages me, he's got this bike, it looks just like the kids, but they all look like that because that's, it's, you know, it's uh, mass produced, it's not a custom bike, you know what I mean, it's a regular bike. And he wanted to get rid of it cheap, he didn't have a charger for it and whatever. But the price was like a stolen price, so I was like afraid to deal with it. I was like, I don't know, I don't know the guy that much. And, and, and then, uh, I had, a, I had put a gas one together and, and I know he liked the gas ones better, so I was like, listen, you still got that bike, I'll trade you. So, and it didn't look like the kids, and the kid, you know, I didn't even think about it until it got here. And once it got here, I knew it was his because of the, uh, the way that these, uh, uh, what do you call them? The torque arm. It's a torque arm right there where the Allen head thing is. That's where the torque arm goes, and it, it's a two-piece torque arm, and I only used the one piece, and I had to make a little spacer and all this. So, uh, I knew it was his bike. Turns out, it was stolen. This goober ended up with it, and then I ended up trading him, and now that I have this bike and I know it's stolen, because I'm not a jerk-off, uh, I don't chop it up, I, I message the guy and ask him, you know, how, how's that bike, you know, doing, and he tells me, oh, it was stolen, I was like, oh, I have it, you know, it's all messed up, the, the, the thumb switch don't work, the, the computer don't turn on, it turns on sometimes, the battery won't take a charge, I think it's fried, um, it's basically another boat anchor, um, you know, it's good for parts, tires, and tubes, and nuts, and bolts, and shit. So I, I told him I'd give him, you know, 100 bucks worth of credit towards uh, fixing the bike, his new bike, because he got a new one, a nicer one, actually, a mid-drive. And, uh, you know, I told him I'd, but, but the, the moral of the story is, you know, everybody's out to screw anybody. I, I end up with a stolen bike. I end up owing somebody. I traded a bike I could have made four, I could have sold for $400 for this bike. And this bike is worthless, and it cost me a hundred bucks on top of that. I mean, the bike's not worthless. I could fix it and sell it. But, you know, I got other things going on. I wasn't planning on having to fix and sell it. Dude, another, another one, yeah, actually, the guy told me, yeah, it works great. Just the battery's dead. 
And I know the guy, you know, so now I know not to deal with that guy anymore. But I mean, holy shit, the world is insane. It's like people are dropping dead left and right. There's fires, there's floods, there's liars, there's stealers, there's cheats. And then there's me taking it right in the cornhole. Like, I, I don't, I like no lube, no nothing. Just right on in the old corn pipe, you know what I'm saying? So, I got that going on. Uh, you know, that's it. Just a little update on uh, what's going on and where my head's at. Because, uh, you know, some people are just fucking killing me, man. They're just killing me. Like, these people should be fucking shot. These people are just, and that's just one or two of the scenarios I got going on floating around in this place. You know, so please stay tuned. We'll call these the early morning, uh, you know, toilet bowl stories. You know, you can watch my videos in the morning while you're on the shitter. And then this way, when you can go out, go throughout your day realizing that it's not that bad being you. You know what I'm saying? Remember, avoid the clap.